of Saint Jesus other we thank you because we know the more that we ask and imagine we can do much more Lord Jesus we give you praise and glory we thank you Lord because we know that you we do much more that we can ask or imagine and that is why we know that our lives are secured in you hallelujah the bible says that our lives are hid in christ in god hallelujah mountains surround jerusalem the lord surround them that fear him and we are so grateful for this morning it's a beautiful day hallelujah i don't know about you i'm super excited today it's great to be alive praise god so we're going to be praying again this morning, hallelujah, trusting God for his preservation over our lives, over our businesses, our families, wherever we may have our tentacles spread to, God is giving us his victory, he's giving us a shield, we are creating a spiritual atmosphere around everyone and everything that uh, pertains to us. Psalm 91 verse 4, the Passion Translation says, His massive arms are wrapped <clears throat> around you, protecting you. You can run under His covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. Hallelujah. You can run under His covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield, keeping you from harm. So let's go ahead this morning and just say, Lord, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for your massive arms of protection wrapped around me. Hallelujah. That's what the scripture says. His massive arms are wrapped around you. Hallelujah. I, I remember um, the record of, of Satan having a conversation with God. And he said about Job, he said, how can I touch him? He said, when you yourself have him, have hemmed your edge around him. He said, how, how can I touch him? I can't touch him. So there is that hedge around us. And that is what is keeping us. Sometimes, you know, God has just been so good to us. Whisk us away from trouble. Whisk us away um, from pain. And God will just come in and, and step in, in that situation, in that circumstance. He has been good to us. Let's just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for being my covering, my eye doubt, my resting place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My resting place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember this dumbass. I say, you are my hiding place and i trust in you hallelujah you know so those times when when life deals us a blow and and sometimes you, there's really nobody you could run to you just know that you can talk um, um to to the god of heaven to to the god the lord of your soul i say god i know i'm overwhelmed right now thank you thank you for helping me and then he comes and helps you in it when when it looks like like life is not dealing fair with you you go to God and he has always been there, has been your resting place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you thank him this morning and say, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Can you go ahead this morning and just say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful for your faithfulness over my life. And the scripture says, even when we become faithless, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Because he cannot deny himself. Because that's who he is. He is just faithful. But let's go ahead this morning and say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Thank you for shielding me from harm and trouble. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for being my shield, for being my strength, for being my all in all. Father, I'm grateful. Thank you for the shield you've provided for me from every arm, of, from every arm, from every trouble. God, I am grateful. God, I am grateful. I can't thank you enough. I can't worship you enough. I can't celebrate you enough because you are simply faithful to me and my household. And so, Lord, today I have come to say thank you. Lord, today I have come to worship. I have come to worship. I've come to bow down and worship, to bow down and worship. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for you are a great God. You are a great God. Thank you. Can you thank God for your work? Thank God. Thank God. 
even if it looks like you don't have a walk right now, can you just go ahead and still thank God for being there for you, for being your refuge, for being your stay, for being you, for holding your hand in the midst of all life's challenges, in the midst of all life's troubles? Just say, Lord, I am grateful. I am grateful, Lord. I'm grateful, Lord. I'm grateful, Lord. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This song we sing in Nigeria. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Lord, you are the God, my defender, the Lord, my defender. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we have returned this morning to say thank you. We have returned this morning to worship your holy name, to give you praise for all you've done in our lives, for all we shall yet do. Father, we give you glory this morning. We give you praise thank you awesome father blessed be your holy name oh god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god amen amen hallelujah so we're making a commitment to god this morning psalm 91 verse 14 the passion translation therefore here is what the lord has spoken to me because you loved me delighted in me and i have been loyal to my name i will greatly protect you hallelujah glory to god so God is saying, look, because you have loved me, you have shown your commitment to me, he said, I will also commit to you. So for someone today, I don't know what you are going through right now. Maybe uh, you are in a situation where it looks like, like the world is against you. But I have this promise from God for you. If you believe it, you claim it and you hold it with your own heart. God says, I will greatly protect you. It's not just a, um, a one small kind of protection. He said, greatly, I will greatly protect you. That is God's promise to someone this morning. Hallelujah. So can you declare from your heart and say, Lord, today I love you and I trust absolutely in you. Can you say that to God this morning and say, Lord, I love you and I trust absolutely in you. I don't know what you're going through right now, but look at it from God's perspective and say, God, in the midst of whatever it is right now, God, I express my trust in you. Lord, I express my love to you this morning. Lord, I love you. I love you. Lord, I love you. If you can turn it to a song, just turn it to a song. You know, there's a song, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you and hold my soul rejoice. You know, when, when we go through trials and it looks like the world is against us, Satan expects that we will crumble and begin to, to feel pity. But no, hey, you don't feel pity. You go to the God of heaven. You go to the God who owns everything. The Bible says the art of kings is at the ends of the Lord. It's like rivers of water. He turns it wherever he wills. What you do in response to pain is worship to God. You turn it as a worship to God. When you worship God in the situation, either God shows you what to do or he, he makes that situation to just collapse before you. That was what he did to the children of Israel when they were going to take over Jericho. He said, you guys don't need to do anything. Just shout, shout of victory, shout of joy. And then as they were shouting, the world was sinking. The world was sinking. Glory to God. Glory to God. I prophesy over someone today that wall of, 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 of opposition is sinking right before you in the name of Jesus. That wall of rejection is sinking before you as you express your love and worship to God this morning. Hallelujah. Just say, Lord, I love you. I trust in you. Hallelujah. Tell him this morning. Say, God, I delight in your word. I delight in in your will and in your ways. I'm not going to do it my own way. Sometimes when 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 life throws a, a, throws a blow at us, the devil will start giving us some schemes. He wants us to 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 be to uh, to to walk in unforgiveness. He wants us to be hurt, to to walk in pain. But you know what? The, the devil has just sown a, a bad seed into your life. Like I was listening to a message last week, and the preacher was saying that offense is 
is Satan's uh, rightful uh, edge to make sure that you don't have what you expect from God in Mark 11, 24 to 25. So Jesus was saying that if you I say to this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea. Said it will be done for you. Then in verse 25, he said, But if you have ought against anybody, he said that that prayer can be in that. He said, If you if you have if anyone offends, you say, Forgive that person forgive that person you know so shooting God's will and God's ways is victory in itself walking in love is victory in itself because that's where the, the that's where the solutions come that's where God fights your battle he takes over and things begin to walk out of you know beyond your own expectations so this morning just say Lord I choose your way I will not walk in 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 unforgiveness I refuse to be hurt I refuse to walk in pain i walk in love i walk in love i choose your will i choose your way in the name of jesus declare to yourself this morning i'm confident that god will guide me shield me and protect me and all that pertains to me yet today can you make that confession to god this morning say lord i am confident that you will guide me i am confident that you will shield me and protect me and all that pertains to me yet today hallelujah that is my confidence. That is my assurance this morning. Hallelujah. God, I am super confident that you will guide me today. You will shoot me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God, you will shoot me. You will yet show me your ways today. He said, ask of me and I will give the nations for your inheritance. God is giving somebody nations today. Nations is giving you faith. Places is giving you territories. Hallelujah. Just tell him this morning, I'm confident, Lord, that you will guide me today. You will shoot me today. You will protect me. Lord, you will protect all that pertains to me today. Everything that comes concerns me today, Lord, I am confident that you will guide. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mother God. Oh, glory to God. I'm super excited at what God is going to do for someone today. I'm so, so excited. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So again, we're, we're praying for ourselves this morning. Proverbs 22 verse 3 says, A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. This morning we're declaring over ourselves to confess today that I am prudent, I'm sensible, and I'm astute. I'm prudent, I'm sensible, and I'm astute. I know we are all either you're a career person or you run your business. One has to be prudent and astute when you are dealing with different people or different situations in the business environment. So we're making that confession this morning. I say, Lord, I declare this morning according to your word. I am prudent, I'm sensible, and I'm astute. I have insight into people and issues. So someone God is giving you unusual insight today to understand issues, to understand people, because God is preserving you from danger. So he's giving you insight to know what it what people are thinking, what people are doing, and is helping you. I have the presence of mind to correctly assess every situation, to take necessary precautions, and to turn them around to my advantage. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So someone make that declaration this morning. I speak over myself today, and I declare that I am prudent, I'm sensible, and I'm astute. Hallelujah. I'm astute. I, I I have the witness, the witness in the in, in effective relationship. I am witty. I, I know what to do part time. I have insight, insight, insight. Because when you don't understand what is happening, you, your judgment can be wrong. And when your judgment is wrong, your reaction is going to be wrong. I've seen that happen again and again. People play into the hands of the enemy because they don't understand how things work. So declaring over yourself today and declare I am prudent, sensible, and astute. Hallelujah. I have insight into people, into issues. I have the presence of mind to correctly assess 
every situation i have the presence of mind i have the presence of mind today i just don't i don't just walk aimlessly i don't just walk as if i'm helpless as if i'm aimless no i have the presence of mind can you talk to yourself this morning talk to your mind today and say look my mind i declare i walk in the presence of mind today everything i do today i am mindful of what i do mindful of what I say, mindful of my actions, because I know the expectations that I want to evoke in people. So today I declare that I have the presence of mind to correctly assess every situation. I see every situation from the eyes of God. I see every situation from the perspective of God. Today in the name of Jesus, the Bible says we don't know any man after the flesh any longer. I'm not going to see things from my flesh. I'm not going to see things from my weak point. No, I'm seeing things from the perspective of God. Hallelujah. Today and because of that, I'm able to take the necessary precautions and to take the necessary actions today. The necessary actions to gain advantage today in the name of Jesus. As I walk in my office, as I walk in, in my business, as I deal with my clients today, I am able to to correctly assess every person, every issue, every situation, and I am able to turn every conversation today to my advantage in the name of Jesus. I know for some of us, you're selling. Uh, you know, selling is basically the ability to convert a conversation to, to sales, to turn a conversation to your advantage. And so we are declaring this morning that every conversation, everything I am involved in today, Day. For someone, you're probably presenting a proposal today. Can you just make that declaration that God, thank you for giving me the presence of mind, the wisdom, the astuteness to be able to turn the conversation to my advantage. For someone, you are breaking new territories in your business. You're reaching out to a new to a new set of people to patronize you, and and you're making that confession this morning that God, in every conversation around my work, every conversation around my business, I'm able to turn them to gain advantage today in the name of Jesus. In my workplace, I'm able to turn things around to gain advantage in the name of Jesus because the Lord is with me. I can never be at an advan at a disadvantage anymore. So I am always at an advantage because God is with me. Thank you, Mother God. I'm grateful, Lord. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead this morning and say, Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. I'm gaining advantage today. I'm gaining advantage. I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining ground. I'm gaining advantage. See that you saw this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This, this moment we are praying and interceding for our family members, for our friends, for our friends, for our loved ones. Let's intercede this morning. Psalm 79 verse 11 says, let the groaning and sighing of the prisoner come before you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. They said, let the groaning and sighing of the prisoner come before you. According to the greatness of your power and your arms, fear those who are appointed to die. According to the greatness of your power and your arm, spear those who are appointed to die. This morning, can we just declare, Lord, I pray for my family, my friends, my colleagues, my business. I declare that anyone groaning and sighing in pain, groaning, groaning in in, in whatever hearts by, by life. Lord, I pray for them this morning that they shall be delivered. You know, someone who has experienced a loss, a major loss, <clears throat> and they are feeling down right now. Why don't you just pray for that person? Just mention their names wherever you are and say, Lord, I pray for that, my brother, that my cousin. I pray for that, my friend who just lost someone, who just lost his job, lost his business. Lord, I pray that, Lord, design the growth 
alone in the pains, God. Let the pain go in the name of Jesus. Let that pain go now in the name of Jesus. Just pray for that, your friend, who, who, who probably have failed an exam or, or failed something, and they are feeling they are feeling less of themselves. They're feeling like, like, like failures. No, just strengthen that person today, that your friend, that it cannot measure up. Just pray that the Lord will touch that your friend today. The Lord will visit that your friend. I pray for you. That friend, I declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord will visit you. The Lord will touch your mind. You will be able to think productively. You will be able to make things happen for yourself. I declare this morning, every fold of stagnation over your life, their friend, that fold of stagnation is destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare, move forward now, move forward now. Can we pray over everyone that is attached to us? Is there anyone today that the devil has marked for trouble? Maybe there are things they should have done, but they didn't do. Can you pray for your children, especially especially when they are, if they are not with you right now? Can you just pray for them that God, I speak over my child today. No arm will come near my child. No arm will come near my child in the name of Jesus wherever they may be. Can you just form that wall of protection around them? That yes, even if they are own, in their own confession, they've said some wrong things. Uh, even if in their own confessions, they um, they, they've committed themselves to do some wrong things. Let's pray that the Lord will deliver them from harm today in the name of Jesus. We form the wall of protection. Pray for your siblings. Some of <clears throat> I know that many of us may not be living as siblings right now, but can you just commit them to God's hands wherever they may be? I pray for my siblings. Oh, call wherever you are right now on the surface of the earth. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and all the fullness thereof. And so I declare in the name of Jesus that the ground upon which you stand, that ground will answer to you. In the name of Jesus, that ground will be fruitful for you. In the name of Jesus, I speak and I declare. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, that every form of destruction is taken away from you in the name of Jesus. You will not meet up with destruction. You will not meet up with evil. Evil will not catch up with you. The Lord himself will hide you in his pavilion, in his right arms, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, a thousand may fall by your side and ten thousand by your right hand. He said, it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I prophesy today deliverance. I prophesy today victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. You're coming out of that situation. You're coming out of it. <clears throat> the Lord himself will be your shield. The Lord himself will be your rear guard in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, you are coming out. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. No harm, no destruction will come near you. And I prophesy deliverance, victory today, victory. In the name of Jesus, victory, hallelujah, victory on every side, victory, victory, enjoy grace, enjoy victory today. In the name of Jesus, enjoy victory today, victory is yours. The victory of the Lord is set in your life today. In the name of Jesus, thank you, gracious Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To your name, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and lastly, this morning, the Bible says in Psalm 46, verse 4, that God has a constantly flowing river whose sparkling streams bring joy and delight to his people. His river flows right through the city of God most high into his holy dwelling places. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Someone speak over yourself today. Say, Lord, I declare today I swim in your flowing river of joy and delight. Glory to God. I flow in cause flowing river 
of joy and delight today. I swim in joy. I swim in the light in the name of Jesus. Somebody express your joy to God this morning. If you can dance, if you can shout, wherever you may be right now, just declare over yourself, declare today my face over this joy, confidence, and grace. Hallelujah. My face radiates confidence, radiates joy, confidence, and grace. I am a force of attraction for favor and lifting. Today, I speak over myself, and I declare that I am a force of attraction for, for lifting. I am a force of attraction for promotion. Today, I am a force of attraction for favor. Whatever cannot stop God, today cannot stop me. I am just unstoppable. I'm unlimited. Glory to God. Someone make that declaration this morning. I am unstoppable. I am unlimited. I am unlimited. I am unlimited. Oh, mighty God, thank you. I am unstoppable. I am unlimited. In the name of Jesus, I cannot be stopped. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Father. I cannot be stopped. Whatever cannot stop God cannot stop me today. Today, I am unstoppable. As you go about your business, just remember that to walk in that consciousness today, I am just unstoppable. I am just unlimited. You cannot box me. You cannot stop me today. Whatever cannot stop God cannot stop me. I declare today, I radiate joy. I had radiate peace. I, I radiate confidence, grace in the name of Jesus. And because of that, I am I'm preserved for promotion. I'm preserved for lifting. I'm preserved for favor today in the name of Jesus. I declare today, my going out is blessed. My coming in is fruitful because of the joy of the Lord around me, because of the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, I'm shielded, <laughs> I am unstoppable, someone make that declaration this morning, I am unstoppable, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, I say whatever you say in my hearing, that's what I am doing, I'm doing right now, I swim in God's flowing river of joy and delight, glory to God, hallelujah, there's joy, joy all around me, joy, overflows in the name of jesus joy overflows joy overflows in the name of jesus father we give you thanks this morning we give you praise can you just go ahead and bless the lord this morning for the answered prayers thank god for for preserving you for protecting you thank god that today lord thank you because everything that surrounds me everything that connects to me attached to me is preserved today nothing missing nothing broken lord i am grateful lord i am grateful only good news today good news good news good news hallelujah good news that's what i can hear good news good news is just good news plainly good news all around good news in everything good news glory to god good news good news good news hallelujah to jesus good news good news is all has today good news good news hallelujah good news good news all around amen amen hallelujah so I, I want us to pray for someone. One of us sent in um, a prayer request. Um, he or she um, said that um, that we should pray that God would give him or her direction. The person is seeking clarity. You know, sometimes we get to that point in our lives where we just don't know what to do. All right. So can we just pray for that person? The point is one of us today, and the person sent in the prayer point. I say, I just need clarity. I need to know what exactly I'm supposed to do. You know, when when life has dealt you several blows, sometimes you just you just find yourself confused, like what's the next step to take? Can we agree with that person this morning? I say, Lord, we pray that for that our friend um, in this community, and we pray that God you will show him 
or her the way to go. The Bible says, call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know of. So let's just say a word over that person today. We agree with you that clarity comes for you. In the name of Jesus, clarity comes for you today. In the name of Jesus, you will not miss your path. You will not miss your way. In the name of Jesus, thank you, man. The Father, we give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, so um, I know we send that prayer point anonymously, but if you're that person, just send me a chat. Um, um, let's let's have some conversation today. Uh, um, later in the day, I, I trust God that uh, that some things will shift, and God will show you will show you the way to go in Jesus' name. Amen. So um, Hallelujah. So we got to go now before we take our closing declaration. Remember that we have a platform, which is a winning community. And the, uh, the purpose of the platform is to create um, um, the purpose of the community is to create a platform for business and career persons to connect and create magic. OK, so um, we're working at ensuring that um, we keep the community active. So um, we're going to be having a whole lot of things coming up, all right? Um, the way we operate is focusing on the four major domains of development, which is a spiritual aspect. And that's why we pray every weekday, okay? Pray for ourselves and, and just get ourselves charged, you know, for the task ahead. We also look at the social part of our lives, which um, has to do with, um, with help celebrating ourselves and and um and um you know supporting ourselves all right then we have this um, um monthly seminar okay which we talk about issues how can we take advantage of things and, and events around us we're going to be having another one in august um we should be expecting the details maybe later this week okay and so of course we also seek to create time for us to hang out and you know and play watch movies together you know and do exercises but all of those things are also in the pipeline so i want to encourage that you join the communities bit.ly slash winning community okay so remember that if you have a prayer point you can still drop it you can send it to me directly or you can use the link bit.ly slash agree with me all right if you also have a testimony you can use bit.ly slash win testimonies you can also send to me directly okay so i want to encourage please invite somebody to tomorrow's edition it's going to be powerful we make these declarations again and again until there's an agreement with our spirit that what we are saying is what we are expecting and once thought and words align then something must happen so i want to encourage that we come again together and, and make these declarations and until there's a shift in our spirit praise god okay so you can download the past episodes on delayabankole.com that's the prayer point in pdf form this one that i'm sharing you can download them on our website and you can always catch up with the replays okay on youtube and anchor if you're a video person or an audio person just search for delayabankole good all right so um let's go today let's take our closing charge hallelujah hallelujah i'm super excited so if you can um if you can unmute yes you can um, so, okay, so, so massive. massive is coming my way something massive is coming my way today Please. something massive is coming my way today i believe it oh, i see it and it has become my reality something massive is coming my way today it's a beautiful day hallelujah good morning everybody good morning it's a beautiful morning. It's a blessed morning. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. Good morning. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Azike. Good morning, Alasa Kami. Good morning, Lion Good morning. It's a blessed day. Hallelujah. So, like we do, we take our close our song. We just say it as we go. You are winning. Nothing stopping you. It is time to win. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, I am so excited. And I want, I'm looking forward to those. I know you're
Yeah.